work here. We have some letters for you. Uh, can you come out? We just want to give you a letters. We've got a proposal for you. It'll save some lives. Can you come out? Do you like to talk to your constituents? It is a human rights issue. Uh, guys, we've got a lot of people here that want to give you letters. You're closing the doors to constituents. Don't we have a right to talk? We've got a proposal here. It talks about 284,000 to save 2,800 homeless. Are you interested in taking a look at it? Are we able to make an appointment now? I can't actually see you guys in there. You're looking at me. Um, I can see you've got a, a sign in there, stand, take a stand against bullying. Is this a form of bullying when you don't talk to your constituents? What more do we have to do? We won the Human Rights Award. We're in three international museums. We won the Local Hero Award as well. Are you proud of us? Other countries are. Are you sure you don't want to come out? We've got a letter for you. Anything you'd like us to do? No? Please. There's no one coming at the door. No one's coming to the door. Um, why not? It's it's very disappointing. We don't understand why, but uh, I think this Jim Wells here, he obviously is not interested in talking to constituents or or the locals. We just want to help homeless people. They sleep on the street. They die of hypothermia. They get frostbite. We're tired of paramedics telling us that they pick up dead bodies off the street. All of these are avoidable. We want to just tell the, the treasurer this special message. We want to help, but he doesn't want to listen. So this is the man, Kim Wells. Now obviously the treasurer, he likes to write support to letters to, to charities like us and say, hey, you should be funded, etc. But of course, once you're in government, you don't have to do anything. There's two winters have passed, and here we are, we're still trying to stand outside his door and he still won't do anything. We don't understand why he won't talk to us. We just want to talk to him, show him the good work. 200 experts talk about our human rights program as a success. However, we can't show the government because he won't open the door to accept our letters. Let's just hope that he does something and think about it in the future. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you guys. I'll have your letters. We tried. Treasurer of Victoria that we, that's in government doesn't want to listen to us. We don't understand why. Are you guys happy about this situation? No. no. Can you understand? Would you like to know why he doesn't want to come out? Yes. yes. He's the treasurer. Do you, don't you think we should be able to trust the treasurer? Yes. yes. Well, this is, how, this, this is who he is. Now you know the real treasurer, a man who doesn't come out, doesn't talk to the constituents, and does not care if you win human rights awards, international awards, he just does not care. What hope do homeless... Door. It's not rubbish, but make sure you do your parliamentary, parliamentary duties and don't throw them away. One moment, we'll put them under the door. Here you go, there's one. Alright guys, put your letters under the door. He won't come out, so he's degrading us by making us put our letters under the door. Just like the papers, right? Yeah, <laughs> under the door. Constituents want to put their letters under the door. We'd like to show the courtesy to the treasurer by actually handing it to them. But um, courtesy works for Shame, Kim. Shame. You should be here. Two hundred eighty-three thousand is enough to help twenty-eight hundred homeless people. Homeless people live in degrading situations by sleeping on the street empty-handed and now we have to get on our knees just to give him a letter just so as he can listen to us. No wonder the homeless have got issues. We've got Treasurer Kim Wells in charge of them. <coughs> and just for an official sake, this document here, this official letter and our proposal, it's very in-depth. 30 odd pages, 200 experts applauding our solution. What's in the document? The document is the National Emergency Relief Homeless Program, which includes the Victorian Emergency Relief Homeless Program, which is called the VERP. We've talked about this, we've given this document to him in the past, but this is an updated version. 
and this is a letter that talks about that the, uh, the Treasurer needs to understand the Charter of Human Rights and Responsibility Acts, and it says it aims to ensure human rights are valued and protected within government and the community, and specifically notes 20 fundamental human rights to be protected, including freedom from cruel, inhumane, or degrading treatment, such as us sleeping on the street or resorting to the level of in business hours with a closed door with staff people in there we're having to put our letters under the door very inhumane we're hoping that uh, surely the treasurer would agree that sleeping outside with any without any suitable emergency relief bedding is cruel it's inhumane and it's degrading homeless people deserve the same rights to emergency relief bedding as the general population that is a novel idea isn't it for the treasurer the disaster legislation of Victoria states, individuals, families and communities affected by an emergency require essential non-food items such as clothing, bedding and personal necessities to ensure their personal comfort, dignity, health and well-being is taken care of. This is in legislation. State Health Emergency Response Plan, Department of Health describes and means the emergency relief recognises that provision of basic and physical and emotional needs such as water, shelter and psychological first aid can reduce the impact of the health of individuals. These individuals are homeless people who sleep on the street because they're turned away from full shelters and there's no other solution out right. there. We'll give it to you. We hope that we we hope that we hear from him and now that it's videoed he must respond to it. We're putting it under there. So if he doesn't get back to us, we'll take it to the Ombudsman and say he hasn't fulfilled his duties. There you go, Treasurer Wells. Please don't throw it out.